Welcome to the Massachusetts UFO Filming and Research Team. I am your host, Damien Nicovod. I am a amateur UFO researcher and investigator. I investigate odd lights and I see in the sky or hear about every great once in a while, like maybe once or twice a year. I don't do it more than that because it's not something you can do very often. Um, it's it, it, it just you need the right kind of time and weather to do it. And I, I don't get much of a chance to do it, but usually it's early spring and late winter. Early winter, I mean, are the times I can you know, pull it off because the insects around here are insane. I live in you know southern Massachusetts, right outside Boston, and the insects are really bad. So it's not a very good um, time to do it during the summer or spring or fall. It, you, you need to do it the, the two times I'm talking about. And I go out and I look at the night sky those two times, and I really can't do it in the winter when it's snowy. So that leaves two times a year that are the best for this kind of thing. Um, right before Thanksgiving, roughly, like a month and a half before that, it's somewhere in there, and somewhere between February and April, and the other half. So that means that I don't get much chance to do what I'm doing, but what I like to do is try to document UFOs on camera. I'm using a digital camera to film this, so one that actually belongs to my mother. It's the only camera I have. It allows me to upload a decent quality YouTube footage. There'll probably be a few sound problems with the sound being um, synced wrong, but that's because the camera is not exactly the best camera to do YouTube video filming with. I'm looking for a new one, and that's going to come later on next year. But before we do that, there's one more investigation left this year, which will be done, I don't know, um, soon. But before we go into investigations, I'm going to go into my whole method, because I have a very interesting scientific method to pull these things off with. I'm a skeptic, so that means that I don't believe that UFOs are actually really aliens from outer space. There's something else, and I'm trying to figure out if there's a way to figure out what they are. Getting evidence for UFOs is my main goal. But I hunt a very, very odd kind of UFO, a kind that a lot of people don't believe exists. The very rare star-like UFO, which is a kind of UFO that I see all the time around here. It looks just like a normal star, but it's in the wrong place, and sometimes it moves, but most of the time it stands totally still. This kind of UFO is only seen every once in a while, and it's usually seen with UFO flaps, but I've seen my fair share of them. So, my job is to investigate them and get them on camera as evidence, and it's not easy to do this. I need a checklist to help me determine what am I seeing. Is it something mundane? Is it something out of the ordinary? The checklist helps to debunk it as something out of the ordinary. It has lots of different possibilities. The first thing is if, that it goes into is does the object move really quickly or change color and shape or appear and disappear? If it does any of those things, it's right away it's a UFO because planes can't do that. Helicopters can't do that. Move erratically is like, like this like moving around like crazy like that. That's what I mean by moving erratically. And is it moving too fast to be a plane? That's the other thing. If it does any of those, particularly multiple ones of those, more than just one, then it's definitely a UFO. I don't see a lot of things that do those things, though. So those are something that's, um, that, that I don't run into very often. And then you get the next few things. Does it stand totally still in the sky? Then it might be a UFO. Does it look like a star, but it's an overcast night? then it might be a UFO. Is it making a noise? If it isn't, then it's more likely to be a UFO. Does my uh, planetarium software, Stellarium, debunk it as a star? No, then it might be a UFO. Stellarium is what I use to see which stars are in the sky at night, so I can see, is there a star in that direction? In that um, height in the sky, at that time, at that date, basically. That's what I use. It's something you can set the date and time and see where all the stars are. It's very good at figuring out what they're colored like, how they flicker, how bright they are in the sky, and you can set the brightness of the, the sky level. Um, I'm doing an investigation, hopefully, tomorrow night. I might not do another one tomorrow night. In that case, this footage won't be used. Um, it all depends on what happens. I'm going to look at the night sky. I'm going to see if I see anything out of the ordinary, and I'm going to document it for a half an hour to an hour. Um, it's the last time I get to do this before the holidays come, and I don't really want to do it in December for another reason. Um, so it's, the next one won't be till late December, after Christmas, early January, more than likely January. So at this point, um, this is the last investigation I'm going to do for a while, and this is the last one I'm going to use this camera to record. You're not going to deal with this camera ever again. The next one, which will be uploaded by January 10th, 2014, will have a totally new camera. 
filming it and it will be much better than this one that I've got now it will be way better you can zoom in and figure out exactly what I'm seeing uh, it will be a much better camera and it will be better in low light conditions so you can see exactly what I'm seeing and not see something that's just pitch black and not know what I'm doing it will be a lot lot better than that I have seen 24 UFOs in a seven year stretch which is insane one time I saw 13 on one night I rarely ever see more than two a year um, it's just me I'm looking at the ones I've seen currently and the first one I saw was in 2006 it was a weird flickering star it was one of those star like UFOs I just didn't think it was a star I don't know if it really was a star or not I never tested it because I can't remember which direction or time or date I saw it at <laughs> the next one was definitely not uh, a star it was the same year I was driving along the highway heading north towards Dedham from Canton that highway is 128 if you look in the Massachusetts area I was driving right through an area where we were about to reach construction and I saw in the sky a blue flickering light O-shaped flickering blue circular shape but hollow on the inside and it was pulsing and after I saw this I immediately started going into the construction and it got so bright I couldn't see the sky because of those construction lights once we left the area of construction I couldn't see it anymore it just disappeared fast forward to 2008 I was looking outside in this direction from outside up in the sky in November on a very overcast night when I saw three things that looked like stars but couldn't be stars it was so bright you couldn't even see the moon don't know what they were and since I'm a purist on the, the definition of the UFO term UFO um, since I'm a purist on the definition of the term UFO and I believe UFOs are simply things you can't identify and are not alien spacecrafts I consider these three UFOs too a year later in 2009 I saw a big bright light at the end of our street don't know what it was thought it was maybe a construction light or something went down the next day no sign of any construction no new pavement no construction lights no signs nothing no signs of anything being there so it's very odd I've seen some other sightings too um, I photographed a gold floating UFO in 2012 from uh, outside bright uh, bright, about as bright as, as Venus don't know what it was, it was just hovering there but once it moved to a different position which is very weird, it didn't move at all until it moved like that um, it, did, it wasn't moving in the sky like a star was, so I don't know what it was I did photograph that um, I can find the picture of it um, this picture is actually very very weird in terms of um, there's lots of weird things that should have been a picture, not just the UFO it actually had two weird things in one picture which is just so odd if I can find the picture a sec here This picture has been altered a little bit, but the UFO is right where the arrow is. It's a smudgy little thing, and when you zoom in really closely, you can see it's banana shaped. Alright. And that's what I'm doing right now. You can see it's clearly banana shaped, or something like that, or even airplane shaped. I'm not sure what this was. I photographed it. It can't be a plane, it can't be a star. The planet Mars is in a position to be it, but it's also lower in the sky, so it wasn't seen that night. It was, you know, Mars was behind that house. So, you know, it wasn't Mars. So, I have seen a fair share of weird things, and I aim to document them soon. Okay, it's about 5, 10 p.m., on the 24th, a very windy night out and a cold night, so I am wearing four layers, an undershirt, two sweatshirts, and a sweatshirt jacket, because it's going to be very cold, but it is a clear night, so I have to be prepared. But before we go into weather and what kind of weather, uh, clothes I should be wearing out there tonight, 
I want to go into what I'm going to be investigating tonight. There's a red light on the house that I saw in a picture of a UFO last March that I can't explain. I'm going to try to see if photographing it will replicate that light. I'm going to try to see if there's certain lights coming from the trees across the street that can't be explained. And I'm going to try to see if the flickering street light is causing the, the flickering light that was seen in a UFO film in August 2013. If not, then it's probably still a UFO. If it is, then it's been debunked as a street light, unfortunately. There's not much else to do. Um, and since it's such a windy night, I'm not bringing out the notepad or any sheets or anything. But I need to put my gloves on because it's going to be a very, very, very wintry night. And um, the gloves don't match because I only have one glove and my mother... Uh, my mother has the other my other glove as my mother's is what I'm trying to say so I think I'm going to be ready to do this but time to put the hood on and venture out there putting my body on the line again taking it for the team for UFO evidence hold on See that flashing light? That might actually be a UFO. I don't know. Weird. Probably just a plane, but I don't know. Okay, I'm out now. Nothing to report currently. I don't know what time it is, but I'm going to stay out here 15 to 30 minutes. I see a lot of planes out and stars, but I don't see anything that's an obvious UFO. And since it's so cold, though, I haven't measured, memorized what stars are which. Um, it's kind of hard to do, honestly. So this won't be an investigation into star-like UFOs, unfortunately. But there's a couple of things I do want to investigate. Big thing is, is that street light that you see there, the yellowish light there, is that accountable for the UFO I saw? It is flickering. I don't think it's flickering the way that one did, but sometimes the street light doesn't show up and I don't know why. A lot of times I still see the street light. Sometimes I don't. I think the light it shakes a lot. That particular light, the fixture of it, I'm not sure. Um, big thing is, is that street light that you see there, the yellowish light there, is that accountable for the UFO I saw? It is flickering. I don't think it's flickering the way that one did, but sometimes the street light doesn't show up and I don't know why. A lot of times I still see the street light. Sometimes I don't. I think the light it shakes a lot. That particular light, the fixture of it, I'm not sure. Um, another thing I want to test to see if I can get a red light to come off from the top of the roof of that house, so hold on. That was a red light I saw in the UFO photos of March. Alright, it's about 5.22 p.m. I don't see anything out of the ordinary. It's kind of windy out and very cold, but I'm well prepared for this weather. Like I said, I knew ahead of time it would be this cold. I check the weather daily due to various reasons. And I'm not going to bother photographing the stars. They won't even appear on a video or the film or the, or the camera at all because it's not sensitive enough to pick them up. Very few cameras are, apparently, what I read recently online. Um, I caught something on film, possibly, that was anomalous. I'm not sure. I'll keep an eye for another half an hour. Unfortunately, I had to pan the outside portion of this investigation. I will continue it from my room. Um, it's just too dangerous to be out there. I saw a twig fly right by me earlier. It's extremely cold and windy, and it's not a good night to be out. I didn't capture anything obvious on camera either. I didn't notice anything out of the ordinary. The stars all looked like normal stars. There wasn't anyone that stood out as being weird. I didn't really have time to look. I was worried about my safety out there. So, from now on, in these kind of situations, I won't even bother doing it. Let's do the rest from my room. 
Okay, I'm in my room right now. There just isn't any other reason to stay out there. We can do whatever I need to do from in here. And what I tend to do is I tend to take the light that's on my desk and put it underneath the desk and then block it with a pillow so I can see the night sky. Pretty much what I'm going to do till 5.45. I see nothing out of the ordinary out there, nothing to write home about. I'm going to keep an eye for another 15 minutes. I was out there for only 10, 5, something like that. Too much for me to handle. Um, but I did get evidence that what you would call it, the flickering light can't possibly be the UFO in, in August last year. And my camera almost fell and, and, and got broken. If it wasn't for the elastic attached to the camera, I wouldn't have it anymore. I got lucky. I was able to capture it with my gloves, the elastic. It, it saved my camera. Horrible story out there. Very windy out there. It's not a good idea to do kind of these kinds of investigations in, in windy conditions like this where it's very, very windy. You're better off doing it indoors. So, we'll see. It's 5.30, it's still no sign of anything out of the ordinary. I filmed something that looked like a UFO earlier tonight, by the way. I said I didn't come out with nothing, but... Um, I tested a few things. I don't know how they're going to come out. I photographed the uh, porch of that house. The, the, not the porch, the rafters of the house, seeing if um, a red light would reflect off of it. It was really too dark to tell. I should have gone out earlier for that. Maybe I'll try photographing it when I'm taking a walk sometime in the next few days. Hopefully not on a very windy day. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull that off. Um, I also um, tried to film that UFO slash anomalous light I saw earlier right as I got out of the out of the house. Um, I don't know if it, will, it shows up on film or not. Probably won't. It wasn't bright enough. Um, and I also tried to check to see if the street light was causing the UFO I saw in August, and it wasn't. There's no way in hell. That, that, that light flickered and moved around like crazy. I don't think that was it. So, I just saw a flash of light in the sky that I can't explain also. I see them a lot around here, especially from here. I'm seeing another UFO out there. I don't know if I can get this one date. It probably won't. Yeah, I missed it, I think. Yeah, I missed it. Damn it. The light I saw was a bright flashing light that looked like a plane, but only had one bright white flashing light moving through the trees across the street. I didn't get much of a chance to film it. Kind of annoying, actually. Um, so I had three things as results tonight. Two out of three I probably didn't get on camera, which really sucks. But I'm going to keep doing this till around 5.50. Um, I feel much better from my room than I do um, from going outside. And unfortunately, this will be the last investigation I do. I'm not doing a part tonight, I'll past midnight. I don't feel like it. Um, not tonight. I have to. I have like other things to do, and I have to go to bed early for them when I do tomorrow, which is you know music. So I saw another UFO, just like the one I just saw. I'm gonna try to capture it. Do you see it? Cause I can't. It's now moving through the trees over there. I don't know if it'll show up on this camera. Weird. It doesn't have any flashing lights on it. Just a bright white light moving through the sky. No sign of it being... I don't know what it is. Alright, I think that's a plane. That one. The other one wasn't, though. Well, I'm really lucky I still have this camera because it flew out of my hand and the uh, elastic I attached to it for a camera strap saved it. That's a note to myself not to go out in super windy conditions and do this kind of stuff again. Um. Alright. I see another weird light. This one could be a star. But it's flickering and it's standing totally still, but it's very, very faint. It's extremely faint. This could be a star, but it could be something else. Another UFO from that area. White light hovering in the sky. I think I'm going to try to zoom in on this one. 
All right, do you see it? You should see it from the camera now. I'm going to hold it up for 10 secs. Zoom all the way in and enjoy the film again. It's extremely bright for a light in the trees over there. It's pri very far away. I'd say about 500, 700 feet away. It's hovering in the sky. It's not doing anything. I've never seen it before, before tonight. I don't know what it is. I have no clue. I hope I can catch this for another 10 seconds. All right, some neighbor is blasting horrible music, and he's getting in the way of my investigation, and I can't stand it. The light I just saw was basically a bright white flashing light that's next to a light that's on a water tower that I don't notice the light that I'm talking about, but the water tower light I do notice, and the, the water tower light is a flashing red light, but the white light I didn't see five seconds ago. So, definitely have an anomalous light on footage, definitely have positive results tonight, whether they'll show up in the video is a completely different story. I have to do some super enhancement to see. I might want to check to see if it's the moon. What direction is the moon in? Oh, it is too dim to be the moon. I don't know what it is. I filmed it. I'm not sure what it is. It's not a star. It's too close. It's a lot like the UFO I saw earlier in November around the restaurant in uh, Rest Rossbury. It's weird. It's just hovering there. Um, I don't know. I'll have to see if I see it again tomorrow night around, oh, I don't know, 5.45 or so. Definitely a weird light. It's still there, by the way. Don't know what it is. Don't have any clue. For record purposes, this light is about in a northeast direction, seen roughly at 5.48 p.m. on November 24th, 2013. This is how I know what to look for in Stellarium to see if there's something bright enough to account for this. And there's another light. Another light from that area. Another moving light. I just caught it for a sec. It's moving through the trees up there. I don't know if you can see this one. Weird. I'm going to see if this is a plane, however. I can't even tell. Yeah, I just saw it for a few seconds. You know, it could be a plane. I don't know. Alright, I put my light where it should be right now, right there. And I'm about to leave this place. I have one more minute left. Um, I don't want to stay up here too long. My mother and pa father are still out my mother and father so I don't want to make them suspicious so I'm going to end the investigation once a minute goes by I got some re definite results and info for my tests for later on uh, a lot tonight weird lights seen from my room mostly I didn't see many outside but from my room definitely I don't know what they are um, one in particular was weird it was hovering there right near the red light it didn't move um, I don't know. I have to check later on tonight when I go to bed to see if I still see it. But the investigation is over. I hope you enjoyed this YouTube. This is my last one. I'm going to do again till late December, early January, and that one will be from up here with a new camera. So adios, old camera. If you didn't get picked up by the strap, I wouldn't have caught that evidence. Oh, the camera came so close to being destroyed tonight. I'm not joking about that. And the weather, the wind pulled it aside. Oh, what an investigation. It came clo close to being damaged. I would have gone in a panic if it did. Uh, this is probably the most memorable investigation I've had in a while. So, enjoy, YouTube. The results will be in in this video. Keep watching. Unfortunately, that light that shouldn't be there, I saw from my bedroom, is simply the star Capella. I don't like this. Capella is an extremely bright star. Very, very bright. Um, you could mistake it for a UFO very easily if you didn't know what you were looking at. So, uh, unfortunately, that hovering thing wasn't anything unusual. I don't like that, but what can you do? There's just nothing you really can do about it. The things that moved through the sky, however, at least two of them were anomalous in my opinion. They didn't look like planes and they were silent. They didn't have flashing lights on them other than the white flashing lights, so I don't know. I'll have to see what the results say. And the results won't be ready for a while. I'm probably not going to be able to do them until um, Wednesday afternoon at the latest, probably tomorrow afternoon sometime. It all depends when I do vocals. Vocals take precedence for my one-man solo artist, so whatever. See this little streaky line? 
That is the only video evidence caught for this investigation of anomalous lights. I'm not sure what I'm dealing with here. I mean, uh, this showed up on the camera after I did some serious work on the video to sharpen it. And this is how you get faint lights to show up in, in these videos, is to sharpen them a lot, a ton actually. Um, and right around this time when I was yeah, sharpening this video, I, I noticed that light. And it was actually in the video when I first saw a weird flashing plane last night, right when I first went out. Um, I don't know what it is. Um, these flashing planes are very odd. They don't seem like normal planes. They only have one kind of bright light, a bright flashing white light, no others. I saw a few others, but I didn't get them on camera, unfortunately. This is all I've got. Uh, this time. It's unfortunate, but this is the last investigation I'm going to use this camera with. You're going to see much better results in the next one, which won't be for another month. So, I hope you enjoyed this, people. This is the end of this investigation, and I'll continue with one in a month and a half, or, or a month, depending on how quick I get the camera. Alright? Game Nicobato.